Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about another Tailwind app. So this is the Create React app and we have already done the Tailwind setup with our React app. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we already know that we are using Krakow. This is the Krakow config. This is the Tailwind config and we already have everything set up. Now what we want is we wanted to create this kind of a simple minimal blog application. Right with the help of Tailwind, we are going to build this UI which will have a header, footer, body, content, and navbar. So, what we are going to do is we are going to modify our existing app. Here, I have created app2.js without disturbing my current app, and inside this, we can actually create a blog component. Inside this, we can have header, footer, and all. So first of all, we are going to have blog header component. So all these components I'm going to import from somewhere. So here it is components. Here I will have a blog and I will say header. So inside components, I have a blog and I will create header.js. Okay. Similarly, all the other components also we are going to build. So I will just put some default content inside header and this is going to be our new bar. Okay, just uh, for the clarity, this is the new bar component we are going to build responsive. Then this is the body and there will be a footer component. Okay, header is nothing but uh, the new bar. Okay, so let's get started. What we are going to do here is uh, this is the new bar, right? So we have body. So body we can import in the app to .js. So this is going to be our body, let's say. Inside body, body we already have, so we will need to use the div tag, and inside div we can add all the class names which we need. So class name we are saying is the background of uh, the whole div is gray okay fonts we are using is sense okay and line height is normal okay this is our parent div of everything now inside this we have blog header which is nothing but the new bar okay so the new bar will use all the classes to build the new bar and here it is the blog header so what we are going to do is uh, here we can just instead of div it can be let's replace this with the header component and then inside this we can have all the classes now this header is top right so header is fixed the position width is full and z index is 10 top is 0 right all the classes in straightforward and then we can actually if you see if you look at the header what our header contains this is our header right fixed width right and it has a left part and right part so we can have a display flags put this minimal blog in the h1 and all the ulli links okay so uh, this is our name inside this we can actually replace it with the name instead of div this name is divided into two parts right first part we can say is uh, the left hand part where we contains all the this particular image right and then there are the links okay so what we are going to do is inside name you can have a div class name uh, widthful widthful and md in the medium screen medium screen the max width will be 4xl otherwise the width will be full that means in the medium screen you will see this kind of layout Right, otherwise on the small screen it will occupy the full width. This is what it means. MX auto means margin auto. It will be a flex layout and flex wrap. 
that means the content will uh, will come down when the the flex horizontal screen is full with the width then we have the item center all the classes justify between and margin top is 0 padding vertical is 3 that's it so here it is our div and inside this div we have two sections one is just a text content and another is our links right just correct the classes and now inside this we are going to have the padding left some some we are going to put some text right so this is the padding left first content which is about minimal blog and then there is a second section which we are going to put second section is now responsive right this needs to be responsive so what we can do is we can use this tailwind classes we can put one block as a hidden and one block as a display based on the dimension so what i'm saying is this particular block will be hidden on the uh, large screen like lg hidden this is nothing but a button like the hamburger button hamburger icon menu oh, and there will be one more div which we will add that will be the display block okay let's add that so there is another div that will have class name class name is widthful okay flex grow it can grow okay and uh, it is hidden for rest of the screen but for lg for the large it will be block display block means display visible margin top 2 background gray 100 and for the medium screen background is transparent so this is interesting what i'm saying is for the rest of the screen the, the background is gray but for the medium screen the background is transparent okay coming to here this is my another div this is like the, the right hand side of our div here we have background transparent width is full for the large it is display block margin top flex grow and inside this we are going to put the new content that means it will have our ulli all the links and we can put all our allies and inside ul you can actually put all the classes class is a list reset we don't need a list style lg flex it is going to behave a flex item justify and because we need to put the all the links at the end flex one that means all the content will be in the proportion of one is to one is to one and the item center first of all display flex will be available only for the, the large screen and then you can add the all the list items okay these all ally items we have we can add n number of ally items this is inline block because these are the list which we need to put your know, horizontal so these are list inline block margin right is 3 and this is the text gray what is what is the hover effect do we need an underline no underline on hover also on hover do the text underline uh, padding uh, this is padding top and bottom this is padding left and right which is four so this is how we have created our header i think there is some closing issue on the div this is the new closing this is the div closing let's see if it is working now what we need to do is this is our blog header and we are using f2.js so we can just import f2 in the index.js instead of f1 and then let's go to header these are only some warnings we can just run our application localhost 3000 
Okay, so what do we have? Here is a class name and inside app2.js. We also need to import uh, styles because I think index.js, we are already importing index.css. So let's just npm run start. Index.css has all the tailwind utilities. And we can also do import react from react. This is the blog header we have. Blog header we are importing from the blogs folder. There is a header component. And we have to replace this class with the class name everywhere. So we can apply those effects. F2 .js. This is fine. So let's start our application. So we are kind of done with the header. Okay. Now we can concentrate on the, the body part. If you see the header is quite simple. This is our simple header with full. This is the, I mean, we need to look at the medium screens. In the medium screen, the, the width will be like, it will be having the container. This is equivalent to container. Like margin is auto and it will, it will occupy the width at the center of the header. Margin auto, flex, flex wrap, item center, justify bitmin. And let's see. So how our layout looks like. Let's see that. So this is how it looks like. So there is a large screen. Okay, on the medium screen, it is fine, right? On large screen, it will take the full width on the, this is currently the medium screen. So on the medium, uh, it is taking the fixed width. Let's see what is wrong with this length. So this is taking width full. Uh, this may be the problem. It should be on the large screen. You can take the width full. So on MD, this is, this is our header. Inside this, we are coming to this whole section. We are saying is MX auto flex wrap uh, justify. So it is saying this is the maximum width and margin auto. And this is also correct 56 REM justify between flex wrap display flex. Now we need to identify why this is going to the second block. Okay. So yeah, I think this is the width full is has been given if I just remove this. Yes, full is default, but uh, let's remove this for now. Withful I have given to my child deals. So this is the label and this is the full. I mean, by default, what should be the width if you are not providing because this is max width for Excel. Here it should be virtual and here also if we are on the large screen uh, what is the width we have given to this this is the right side of the the flex container so we don't need to specify the width okay so this is our header now if you go to the small screen you can see this is our small breakpoint and now this is our header same header this is a new bar and the links. Okay. And for the large screens, large screen mean to say is how can we achieve the large? If we take a look on to this, this medium background is transparent, but for the medium screen, otherwise the background is BZ gray. Let's see if I see that. background gray okay so that bz gray is on the other screens this is the i mean let's say the large screen it will looks like gray is it i'm not able to figure out the change 
okay so this is our header let's say uh, we can set some background to the whole header at least to this one because here we can see bz gray uh, 700 bg gray 700 let's see why it is not applied Uh, we can't apply it directly so we can add a class so here we are talking about the header and i am setting the background color for that okay so what we can do is let's go here this is the new bar easy gray 800 if it is there then it will get applied it's already so this uh, the body is VZ gray 800 and this header I try to put VZ gray 800 is it getting even applied So to identify to debug this, let's go to our Tailwind config. Do we have this background gray? Okay. Here we are on the BZ gray and 900 should be like this. BZ gray 900. BZ gray white blue. Okay, if I just change this to BZ gray blue. Somehow the style is not applied. Background is blue. I'm not sure. Let's see this thing. Why the styles are not yet applied. So we are done with the header, right? It has a, and it is responsive also. So after the new bar, we can work on the container, the main container. Okay, this container I'm talking about. So what we can do is after header, we can create one, you can say the body or you can just simply, simply say blog.js and copy the header content and then we'll replace the things from here inside blog.js. So remove the new bar, whatever code we have written here, lots of code and this is our container. So inside container uh, we can add a div class name. We can even use the container class that will fix the width. We don't need to worry about how we are setting the width and for medium it is max width 3xl and margin is auto and padding top is 20 okay now inside this you can put all your content whatever you wanted to put inside this like the title uh, font title and everything post content and area so i will just do uh, let's create another div inside the this thing div class name this will be width full padding horizontal is 6 px4 for mdpx is 6 and text should be large text is gray i mean the classes are like simple i don't want to repeat all these things and line height is normal leading normal okay all these things and even close this and we can have another div inside this div we can put the, the blog title blog title is like h1 tag welcome to the minimal blog right font bold font sense brick normal text content padding margin font size and how it looks like on the medium screen and then the content 
when like when it is published and all these things so this is width full and then we can put the whole paragraph content in, in all these things inside this so this div will close uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, what we are doing is w full so here it is it can be simple heading and everywhere we are using font sense sensor if okay all these things will go inside it h1 tag and the p tag just format this again and then now so these these, these all are heading now we can talk about the the main content so everything is inside a container this is the heading part now these are the footer like uh, this is the tailwind css all these things the text color hover underline whenever you hover it it should be underlined okay we can just import this thing now this is blog simple blog component import blog from components log to 3 xl again there is a width full and then there is a container class it's always not an easy to debug this thing fix width full this is header now this is a container what we want is next width to xl now 3xl is not there 2xl is there maximum auto margin top 16 pixel and container is not helping us okay and then here we are what we are doing is we can just add another class like okay padding top is 4 Here also, but why these padding classes are not getting applied? This is my H1 text 3XL. So I was just trying to debug why my container classes was not working. I did a little bit debugging here. Like how to configure the container and then I figure out I mean it was not a fix I need to put the container here so that my container class start and you can see now my app suddenly starts working and everything looks perfect here you can see there are two blog links properly spaced right here now my container class also working that is uh, initially strange it was not working so this is how it is fixed right now what I'm doing is we don't need to put the BZ gray it's not needed okay the background is transparent on the medium screen but on the large screen it will get the some color this is width full and this is how it is working.